did not finish. I went to Terabithia last night. Um, my husband went to sleep and I thought I found the ebook. Like, and I thought it was available, but it wasn't. Got to 64 last night, so I've read about 14 pages this morning. And I'm really planning on finishing it so I can watch the movie t later today. Hey guys, still looking very ugly and very rough. But I am almost done with Bridge to the Carabithia, and I wanted to let you know. I am on page 118 of 128, so I have 10 more pages left, and I'm currently doing the reading sprints, and it ends in like 9 minutes, so I'm really hoping that I can get finished. So, okay, bye. Hey all, I am back. It is about 4.30 on day 5 of book 2 -bathon. I finished Bridge to Terabithia earlier. I have it right here, and I gave this book four stars. Again, like I said, I was not a huge fan of the fat shaming, but again, this was published in 1977, and it won the Newbery in 1978, so I can kind of give it a pass, but it still is just, like, frustrating that, like, mean people are always portrayed as fat, and, like, fat is a bad thing and a bad word, whereas, and I've even been one of those people who thought that, and even in the past year have thought that, but I think my mindset is really changing on that fact, and I think that that's for the better. But anyway, I love the friendship between Leslie and Jess, and I just really loved how their friendship conquered all things. And I love how she showed the stages of grief and how he didn't really believe when the tragedy happened, and um, I just really loved that aspect, and also... One thing that I thought was lacking was that I was really hoping that his family would come around more. And also, I loved his relationship with his little sister, Mabel. Also, that is like the cutest country name I've ever heard. And she's just a little darling. And I loved how it ended with him, um, like, making her the new queen of Terabithia. So I thought that was awesome. And I can't wait to watch the movie later tonight. So, also, it's on Netflix, which I totally didn't know. I requested it from the library, so I have the DVD also, but I think I'm just going to watch it on Netflix because it's just easier that way. But anyway, that was this book, and I loved it. So the next book that I'm going to start is Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder. And um, I am a little nervous about this book because this book is my mom's favorite book from childhood, and I'm just really nervous that I'm not going to love it as much as she does. And I really want to love it because I'm going to see her next week so we can gush about it and love it. And I don't know if I'll continue on to the whole series. It will depend on how I feel about this book. But also, this book was for the Green on the Cover Challenge. And Bridge to Terabithia was the um, book-to-movie adaptation. So I keep forgetting to mention the challenges they put for. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm really hoping to get to halfway through this today and I'm really thinking I will if I don't get distracted also the font is rather large but I think it'll be fun because it has like full color illustrations in here and I think that will add to my reading experience a lot also another thing that I would like to get to today I would like to get halfway through to all the boys I've loved before by Jenny Han this was um not on my original TBR I originally had um, autobiography on my TBR as The Beautiful Spine, but I just kind of am not really looking forward to that book right now. So I think I'm going to do this for The Beautiful Spine, and I don't know, I've always thought that the spines of this trilogy were like so aesthetically pleasing, they always look really good in bookstagram photos, so I think that this totally works, and it's also a reread for me. I love this trilogy so much, and I've been wanting to reread it because the Netflix movie is coming out on August 17th, so I'm super excited to reread this, and I think it'll go really fast because it is a reread. That is my update for now. I am going to start Little House in the Big Woods. Fingers crossed that I love it. Love, love you, Mom. Hey guys, it's about 9.30 p.m. I am just updating you guys, 
and I am currently on page 83 of Little House in the Big Woods, and so far, it's a little boring. Um, I think we'll be okay, except for the fact that Laura Ingalls Wilder is like going on for two to three pages on how Pa cleans his gun or does other mundane activities that I don't care about and that you have to have technical language to understand. And it's just really frustrating because I don't care about that. I want a family story. I don't want you cleaning your gun for three to four pages. That's confusing for me to read because I don't understand the terms. So, yes, not loving that. But otherwise, it's fun, I guess. I just really don't think this book is going to be for me. just don't understand why everybody loves it. But I could be wrong and my thoughts could change. But anyway, bye. Hey guys, I wanted to give a last update for day five of Booktubeathon. I read to the halfway point of Little House in the Big Woods. And I am now going to watch... The Bridge to Terabithia movie adaptation, so I can officially mark off the third challenge. And I'm super excited about this movie. It's on Netflix, but I have the DVD checked out because I didn't realize it was on Netflix. And I just think it'll be such a good movie. So, bye. It's about like 8.30 p.m. right now. And I'm sorry I haven't updated you all day, but today was kind of a weird day. So I just didn't update and not wearing makeup for like the third day in a row. Because if I don't have work, I'm probably not going to put on makeup. But anyway, so I will update you with the progress. Um, I read Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder. And I read this as a part of the green on the cover challenge and this book kind of disappointed me I was expecting to like it but honestly I was bored almost the entire time and I had to read over passages multiple times because I don't know why people like this book but they describe the huddling of corn and the cleaning out of the guns and the separating of the wheat in a painstaking three to four page detail with a lot of technical language that I don't understand. For that reason, I did not like this book. Um, I gave it three stars, but I'm really thinking about giving it two and a half stars because I just, this book was not for me. And I, it just really upsets me because it's one of my mom's favorite books. So I was really hoping to like it, but no, no. So, yes. Done with this. Probably not going to continue on with the series, which really stinks because I was really hoping to like this. So, yeah. Just threw it because I don't care. Also, there was a super weird printing error. So, on some of the pages, it like looked like you had double vision. I posted the printing error on an Instagram story. So I think I will just insert the photo here. I said last night I was going to read half of Tell the Boys of Love before, and I haven't. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to read some of this tonight. Um, I want to read about... This is a kind of quick read, so maybe 30 to 50 pages. That might be good. And then I want to watch a show on Netflix because I'm kind of just tired of reading at this point like the book tube is really fun but I'm just like kind of ready to be done with it and just kind of like doing other things other than reading I do really want to read this reread this book in time for the movie to come out 
and I think it'll be really good. And my hair is moving again, and I'll probably have to start making that crinkly noise again. I need to be in a better mood. But anyway, so I will try to read some of this tonight, and then I am probably going to start off tomorrow by reading Goldie Vance Volume 2. And yeah, that's, that's it for me. Bye. Hey guys, it's still day six of Booktubeathon, and I just finished Goldie Vance Volume 2. And um, this was my read a book with a hat on the whole time. And I forgot to wear the hat until the last issue of this. But I'm still going to count it because I wore it for one issue. I'm not just going to like reread it. So, yeah. That's, we're just going to count it as a challenge completed. I just totally forgot. But So, two graphic novels, three books, and the five challenges completed. So, woohoo! Bye! Hey y'all, it is day seven of Booktubeathon. So, it is Sunday. And the readathon ends at 11.59 p.m. tonight, so I'm trying to get my sixth book in. I read two graphic novels this week and three books, and the book that I'm reading now is the only one that I've changed from my TBR. I really don't think I'm going to get to Flora and Ulysses, and I don't even know if I'm going to finish to All the Boys I've Loved Before today. I am currently 12 pages in, so I'm on chapter three, doing real good. But I literally don't have anything going on today, so I think it'll be fine. Anyway, going to read for about, I think, 45 minutes to an hour. And then I'm going to go work out. And then I'm going to eat lunch. Then I think I'm going to go to Target or read some more. So, that's my progress for today. Okay. Hey guys, it's day 7 of Booktubeathon. It's about like 8 or 9 p.m. I'm not even sure. But anyway, I am a little over halfway through to all the boys I've loved before. And um, I'm liking it. I am a little nervous because I'm not loving it as much as I did before. So I'm really hoping that maybe I can finish this tonight and, um, you know, re fell in love with it. Because... I know that I love these characters, and I know that I love their relationship and the familial aspects and things, but I'm wondering if just because there's not that suspense of, like, will they, won't they, because I've read the whole trilogy, so I don't know. I'll let you know, though. So, 